Some 500 co-op supermarket stores in Sweden have been forced to close due to an ongoing colossal cyber attack, affecting organizations around the world. Co-op Sweden says it closed more than half of its 800 stores on Friday after point-of-sale tills and self-service checkouts stopped working. The supermarket was not targeted by hackers directly, but is one of a growing number of organizations affected by an attack on a large software supplier the company uses. Cyber researchers say about 200 businesses have been hit by this colossal ransomware attack, which had mainly affected the U.S. Cybersecurity firm Huntress Labs said the hack targeted Florida-based IT company Cassia before spreading through corporate networks that use its software. The firm believes the Russia-linked our evil ransomware gang was responsible. Cassia said in a statement on its own website that it was investigating a potential attack. A spokeswoman for Co-op Sweden told the BBC, we first noticed problems in a small number of stores on Friday evening around 6.30 p.m., so we closed those stores early. Then overnight we realized it was much bigger, and we took the decision not to open most of our stores this morning, so that our teams could work out how to fix it. The whole paying system at our tills, and our self-service checkouts stopped working so we need time to reboot the system. It's understood that Co-op doesn't use Kaseya directly on its systems, but that one of their software providers does. The case highlights the growing concern in the cybersecurity world about so-called supply chain attacks where hackers are able to claim multiple victims by attacking their supplier. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, a federal body, said in a statement that it was taking action to address the attack and urging users of the Kaseya software to shut it down. The U.K.'s National Cybersecurity Center said, We are aware of a cyber incident involving Cassia, and we are working to fully understand its impact. Ransomware is a growing, global cyber threat, and all organizations should take immediate steps to limit risk and follow our advice on how to put in place robust defenses to protect their networks. The cyber breach looks to have been timed for maximum disruption as it emerged on Friday afternoon, when companies across the U.S. were clacking off for the long Independence Day weekend. Cassia is urging customers that use its VSA tool to immediately shut down their servers. Cassia said in its statement that a small number of companies had been affected, though Huntress Labs said the number was greater than 200. It is not clear what specific companies have been affected, and a Cassia representative contacted by the BBC declined to give details. Cassia's website says it has a presence in more than 10 countries and over 10,000 customers. This is a colossal and devastating supply chain attack, Huntress Labs senior security researcher John Hammond said in an email. At a summit in Geneva last month, U.S. President Joe Biden said he told Russian President Vladimir Putin he had a responsibility to rein in such cyber attacks. Mr. Biden said he gave Mr. Putin a list of 16 critical infrastructure sectors, from energy to water, that should not be subject to hacking. Our evil, also known as Sadanakabi, is one of the most prolific and profitable cyber criminal groups in the world. The gang was blamed by the FBI for a hack in May that paralyzed operations at JBS, the world's largest meat supplier. The group sometimes threatens to post stolen documents on its website, known as the Happy Blog if victims don't comply with its demands. Our evil was also linked to a coordinated attack on nearly two dozen local governments in the U.S. state of Texas in 2019. 